I'll, pre I'll pretentiously quote Bergman, cinema begins and ends with a human face. And Chaplin has a face, a talent, I mean, he's one of the greatest artists, not just of the 20th century, but perhaps of all time. By extension, I'll say, I think the ending of City Lights, his 1931 film, is one of the greatest, the, the emotion he creates in the viewer, at least in me, is one of the greatest achievements in all the arts, I feel. And that's what I'm after in movies. I mean, I think it's wonderful that we have these fantastic spectacles and we can go into the past, we can go into outer space, that's wonderful. But uh, we have to follow people. I mean, there's this wonderful film out now called Gravity, and it's a technological marvel. It's a miracle of a film, but you're there because there's Sandra Bullock doing such a good job, and you have to believe she's really scared. If she did a lousy job, we'd think it was a lousy film. And Clooney doing yes. his level best yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> um, how many actors come to you now? We had Ivan Reitman on the show, and he said he remembers the moment Schwarzenegger walked up to him and said, you made Ghostbusters. I could be in Ghostbusters, and it was him who said this? Well, Schwarzenegger oh, said sure. it to Ivan Reitman. Oh, to Ivan Reitman. So yeah. now that every film you make, everybody gets an Oscar nomination, there's so much success around it, do you have people who actively find you and say, have you got a project for me? Mostly they're unknown actors who accost me on the street putting an envelope with their 8x10 picture into my hands. <laughs> That's what I get most That's of it? the time. So <laughs> Clooney didn't do that to you? No, he did. I met him on, not, not quite so, I mean, he's a classy guy, but I met him when I was casting Sideways. He wanted to be in Sideways as the part of the unsuccessful actor whom Thomas Hayden Church later played. And I liked Clooney a lot. I said, I'd love to work with you, but not for this part. I, no one's going to believe that the most handsome and successful actor is the most loser TV actor. I didn't want that to be the joke. So did you give the same pitch to Thomas when you said, I need a loser TV actor? <laughs> Yeah, I avoided that. 